Hey artists and art lovers, welcome back to another episode. I hope you are fine and doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to make graphite powder using cheap and ordinary pencils. And I will show you several other techniques like professional sharpening of a pencil, creating background using graphite powder, using brushes, stumps and tissues to blend graphite powder and stuff like that. Along with three different methods to make graphite powder at home. So make sure to watch this video till the very end so you can get a better picture of what a graphite powder is really capable of and how you can use it to make your life easier as an artist. So let's make some graphite powder. So graphite powder is the most useful and a must have art supply for any pencil artist like me. I've been using graphite powder in my drawings for about 2 years now and I think it's convenient to make this graphite powder at home using some cheap pencils. Rather than buying even a small 150 gram pot which costs about 19 US dollars or 2300 rupees in Pakistan. And it's not even available here because Pakistan is a developing country. So as I said I've been making this graphite powder at home for a while now and I think it's worth sharing my technique with you all. Because I know most of the people living in background areas don't have access to stuff like this. And as I said, it's a must have art supply for any pencil artist because you can speed up your shading and blending process 3 to 4 times. You can even make some amazing gradients by using a piece of tissue and a graphite powder. You can even blend it smoothly on any surface and paper of your choice. I created this blurred background in this amazing artwork using graphite powder and believe me it was very easy to do so. You can also blend it with a brush or even blending stump if you want. Here's another example of the background I created using the same homemade graphite powder. And you can even erase it easily with any ordinary razor. Or even add some white lines and highlights using a sharp tip razor. Anyways, let's compare a pencil shade and a graphite powder shade to give you another example of its awesomeness. As you can see we are left with some strokes and textures in this shade. But you will never get these type of textures and strokes in a graphite powder shade. You will always get a perfect and smooth shade or gradient whatever you want to do. Okay, let's move on to the DIY portion of this video. The pencils I'm gonna use in this DIY are the cheapest pencils ever available in a stationery. And these are a few types of pencils I use for this purpose. These are the 2.5 HP Goldfish pencils which cost about 0.4 US dollars or 5 rupees in Pakistan. This one is also a 2.5 HP and it's more cheaper than Goldfish. Now this one is a professional 2B drawing pencil by Eiffel, which I use in almost 90% of my drawings. 
and whenever I find a pencil with broken lead, I always prefer to recycle them using this same technique which I'm gonna use in this video. Okay, so first of all, you have to remove the wooden part using a craft knife or an X-Acto knife. By the way, it's the same method I used to sharp my pencil for drawing purpose. You can learn this technique from this video in the cards. Make sure to remove the wooden part slowly or you will break the lead. Okay, as you can see the lead is bare now. Let's move on to the first method of making graphite powder. You need a small piece of sandpaper of grid size approximately 80 to 120. Now place your pencil lead on the sandpaper and rub gently. You will get this fine quality graphite powder in no time. Remember that the quality of your graphite powder depends on the size of grit you are using. I use this 100 grit sandpaper to get a fine quality powder. By the way, this is my favorite method because it's simple, easy and faster than the other two methods. As you can see the lead is finished, you can sharp the pencil again and repeat the process to get your desired quantity of powder. Anyways, let's move on to the second method, which is using a knife. In this method, you can use whatever type of knife you have. I'm using the same ordinary craft knife. You just have to place the sharp end of the blade on the lead and start rubbing and scratching the lead smoothly. And you will get this fine quality graphite powder from the second technique. Now the third one is crushing the graphite powder using a hammer. Looks funny right? Yeah I tried this method for fun and I don't recommend it to any of my viewer. Just enjoy this short clip and we will move on to the comparison process. So we have these three types of graphite powders here and now I'm gonna compare them with each other to know which one is better for shading and blending. I will use this ordinary tissue paper to blend the powders. So let's start with the sandpaper.
Mm, looks nice and smooth. Moving on to the second method. And now with this last one. Okay, so I don't see any major difference in the shades other than the darkness which totally depends on the hand pressure, amount of powder and things like that. So I think the overall shading tone is same for all the methods. And you can choose any of these methods to make a super smooth and high quality graphite powder at home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment your reviews about this one. And if you want to support me on Patreon, here's the link to my profile. I'm gonna start posting some extra content, tips and tricks videos very soon for my awesome patrons. So keep an eye on that. And if you are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe because I upload new content every Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning, keep trying and have a nice day.